Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. So, in the last episode we finished off Clanker's Cavern, and in this episode we're going to smash, smash her face with an iron, aka Kazooie's face. And this is the weird Grinch mouth, uh, Grinch? That was like a combination of Grinch and Witch. Witch mouth edition of the Jiggy Dance. Man, that's a, that's a great way to start the commentary, not even knowing what the witch is called, even though I do. However, before we go up there to the note door up there, I, oh, if I could do it, thank you, I need to get in here because we need to open up the, actually, we need to open up the next world. We haven't done that yet. Uh, the switch is going to be on the other side, though, because last episode I just stopped right outside without even, without even hitting the switch. So if I hit this switch, it's going to raise the pipe over there, and then we can get from the pipe to the pipe, and then we can pipe some stuff up top. So, yeah, that's really all there is to it. Basically, we're trying to get down there into that grate down there. However, we can't... Oh, nope, come on. We can't do that until we hit the switch, which is going to be up here. Oh, come on, thank you. And peck you in the face. Hey, Bruntilda. Or Gruntilda. What, or whatever your name is. Yeah, Bruntilda. Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press that if you'd like to hear them. Well, sure, I'd like to hear them. Grunty wears a reinforced girdle under that repulsive dress of hers. Okay, continue. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Cauldron Crew. They're awful! Okay, well that's all there is to say. There's only three of them. So now if we hit this different green switch, I believe the other two switches up until now have been blue. If you think I'm soft, I'll be waiting in the loft! And fall right- ha ha! I managed to fall and sink far enough that I landed in the pipe and automatically started swimming. That felt good. However, if we get right over here, you'll- I mean, most of you probably know what our next world is as it is. But, here we go. It is Bubbled Loop Swamp. A really interesting level, to say the least. Like, there's a lot of... There's a lot of stuff to do in it. Like, a lot. But, let's see if I can get this twice, two times in a row, man. Uh, haha, -ha, that was even better! Oh, I'm so happy, I feel like I'm on my game. But I don't want to say that, because I'll totally curse it. So, yeah, the switch up there was green, but the switch across the way was blue. So if this switch is blue, that, that I'm about to jump on, that, that switch up there was the odd one out. It is blue! Man, I wonder why the switch up there for the grate opening was green. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna be curious about that for a while, though. However, right here, there's a 180-note door. I love that sound. That, that music is just awesome. However... Um, yes, as you can see, we kind of definitely had plenty of notes for that. And there's a Jiggy in there that we can't quite get yet. So instead, let's just go up here, because up here is Bubbled Loop Swamp. And let's jump, and land it in a pit. Nothing but net. Awesome. Okay, oh, I wish I had control of the camera, because I almost ran into that guy, because I didn't see him. Oh, don't bother with that gold feather under there, because this swamp... Watch. Nom 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 nom. It nommed us. So... Yeah, there's no really, there's no reason for us to go for a gold feather if it's gonna hurt us in the end anyway. So right behind us over here is Bottles. Is keep your eyes open for your new move, Beak Face. Well, Bottles, I don't know if you noticed. However, I was saying right over here is Bottles' only move. So you were just saying what I was saying once again. These are the wading boots. Chicken Blades wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken or. I mean, Kazooie, let's go grab a pair. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Thanks, Bottles, even though you're a bitch. <sighs> yes, now I know all the Swamp's move, new moves. I swear, I mean, I was literally just explaining that to you, wasn't I? And then he came in and was like, Yo, have you heard of this move over here that nobody is definitely not telling you about right now? Yummy, crud, just like that. So there's gonna be all these little gold alligators all over. Me want yummy egg, too. Except the, the face down that was talking was green, had green eyes, and the face up there 
did not have green eyes, it had blue eyes. So why do you say you want one too when I just fed you one? I don't know, I guess he's greedy. Um, but back here there's also a mumbo token. I would just... Oh man, my camera was screwing with me there. I should have been able to get out of there without taking a second hit. But the camera was like, uh, no you don't. Okay, so what is up here? I honestly don't know what's at the top of this. Uh, a drumstick. We are on the top of a drumstick. Like, chicken wing on, like, the longest chicken bone of all time. However, right here, if you hit the switch, there's gonna be a Jiggy that appears out of nowhere up there. Like, magic. So, let's go get ourselves a Jiggy. However, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to collect on the way as well. So, no! Oh, missed a note. And let's feed this guy an egg, because he wanted one. Now the next one's gonna be all the way up there. Don't worry, we'll, we'll be there relatively soon. Uh, more notes, and a mumbo token, awesome. I don't really need the egg, so I'm just gonna say screw that noise. Uh, more notes, uh, man, this is this has gotten boring commentary all of a sudden, I'm sorry. And we have a Jinjo! Yay, okay. And now the final platform here, I'd recommend taking this nice and slow. As you can see, you still have 10 seconds, or at least I do. So, yay, we got the Jiggy and we got everything on the way there as well. That was convenient, don't even have to go back for anything now. So, where do I want to go next? Let's go... Eh, sure, why not? Let's go over there. There's some notes over there. And what else is over here? I don't even remember. Oh, yes! This thing, this leaf. Oh, and I completely missed the leaf. Okay, well, that is one way to get across there. Eat them, book them. That's an easy mumbo token to forget, so try not to forget it. Uh, let's jump. Oh, I need the... I forgot, I needed the shot jump. And... I guess I'm not getting that one up, because I already broke the shell. I apologize for that. Um, and let's slam it. And every time you hit the shell on the X, it's going to finally break into a Jiggy. This is the empty shell and cracked eggshell edition of the Jiggy Dance. I'm sorry I didn't give the one on top of the bridge a dance edition. I guess it just wasn't memorable enough to need one. Um, and I'm not going to retroactively give it one. That would be tacky. So I'm a little running low on life, so I'm going to wait for this thing. <laughs> like, it's just... Man, I've been taking so many hits from the swamp when I shouldn't be. Just because I've been totally ignoring the... Actually, you know what? There we go. Give me your life. Thank you. Death becomes you. Is, is that from Bayonetta? I'm pretty sure I asked that in one of my other LPs, but I'm pretty sure that's Bayonetta. Er, an ugly hairy trespasser. He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. Well, yes I will, because I just have gold feathers. Um, I'm after my own gold, thanks. Uh, this makes, gold feathers make this thing extremely easy. Like, I believe you can kill them in other ways and stuff, but the gold feathers, I mean, it's just, they just fall over. I mean, literally, everything falls over with gold feathers. It's, it's fantastic, to say the least. This is the Dead Frog edition of the Jiggy Dance. And now let's make our way over here, because this is where the next little Proctus guy is. He's at the very top of all these. So, each time, each time you smash these, um, it is going to give you, for the most part, a new shot jump pad. Um, so, I mean, honestly, this is just a huge jump, jumping game. It's kind of like the jumping in Treasure Trove Cove, just plus more. Except this one. This one has a bitch switch and some notes in it. So when you hit this bitch switch, however, it is going to blow the hell out of bitch's head. I mean, like, what the hell? It just blew the top off her hat. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll see more about that later. Remember that Jiggy that I mentioned that we couldn't get in there that was hidden inside that cave inside the witch? Yeah, that's... Oh, no! Or, never mind, oh no, I can st I can still get that mumbo token. Uh, there we go, awesome. And, oh, I missed. Oh, I missed! And the next one's gonna be all the way over there near that wooden fortress thing. Don't worry, we'll be there soon enough, too. Like, the nice thing about this level is, even though there's a lot to do, for the most part, it goes in a circle. This is the highest addition ever of the Jiggy Dance. We are so high in this level right now. Uh, which is an interesting statement. Um... But, never mind, I'm not going to say any more on the matter. Uh, we'll be back here, I know I'm leaving some notes behind, but don't worry, we'll, we'll be back to get those notes in a bit when we can actually get them. And I just picked up all that honey when I didn't need it. I suck. So this guy right here, tipped up. Ooh, my feet are so numb and cold. Well, let me hurt them. Oh, oh that's a bit better. Oh, 
that noise that he makes is so good. Oh! <laughs> it just sounds painful. Oh! And he coughs up a jiggy and leaves his mouth open. Tank top's warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Well, sure. I'll take a I'll take a jiggy for beating the hell out of your mouth. I mean. What else can we get Jiggies for in this game? I mean, there's plenty of other worse reasons, I'm sure. So, this is the uh, two-hole, one-mouth edition of the Jiggy Dance. Uh, that sounds awkward. Uh, awkward indeed. However, there's also some notes that you don't want to miss in here. These are easy enough to forget. There's three there, and there's three on the other side as well, which we'll pick up in a minute. However, first of all, we have Quiet, please. The famous tipped-up Quiet will now perform my latest work. And so it's yellow, purple, blue. Okay, so now what we're going to have to do... Uh, a bit short, isn't it, shell boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Okay, so it was yellow, and then purple. All you have to do is stomp on them. That seems like a really painful way to make music, but teach their own. Yellow, purple, blue. <coughs> hmm, not too bad. Let's try lesson two. Okay, uh, purple, or magenta, blue, red, magenta, cyan. Magenta, blue, magenta, blue, red, oh, come on. Red, magenta, cyan. And there's that. Okay, only one more, but this one's going to be extraordinarily long. I'm actually going to have to pay attention to this one. Ah, splendid. You just need one more lesson. <clears throat> okay, so we have magenta, cyan, yellow, purple, red, yellow, purple. Okay, so magenta, cyan, yellow, purple, red, is it yellow or purple? Um, yellow and then purple. Gotcha. It was both. I just didn't remember what order. Awesome. So that's that. That was that was extraordinarily easy. A true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. I most certainly will. I definitely want that trinket. Um, I wish you had control of the camera in here, though. Like, really bad. This is the Fraud Podium edition of the Jiggy Dance. And there's a couple other things you don't want to miss in here, not including his face. However, there's a empty honeycomb piece there. There is the Mumbo token behind him, and then there is going to be the three notes on this side. And that was, that might have been the easiest time I've ever had inside Tank Top doing that Tip Top Choir. I mean, that was, that could not have gone smoother if I wanted it to, I don't think. I mean, that was, that was impressive, and I, I'm not normally impressed with myself, naturally. It's bad to be impressed with yourself, generally, but that was good. And also, would you please stay on that log? Like, serious face, what was that, Banjo? You just want, you want to get eaten by the piranhas in there? Is that... I bet that's what it is, actually. That... Sorry. Oh, and I didn't want those. Damn it. Uh, what is the button? There we go. That's how you get rid of them. Okay. So let's feed this guy an egg. Yeah! Haha! -ha, how do you like that? Oh, no! It's behind Tip Top! I forgot! I guess we're going to have to go back there. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go back there right now. Um, and have I done... Have I done absolutely everything yet? Um, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to think. How many jiggies do I have? I'll find out shortly after I after I do this guy, because this will this is the last one right here. So let's take out of this B, and then this guy opens his mouth extraordinarily fast. But there it is. There's our jiggy. Woohoo! Okay, so this is the um, corner edition of the jiggy dance. A uh, seven. Okay, so I'm. What am I missing in here? What jiggies am I missing? 